Well, hello, John again with a big old update. Well, we're here now at the last day of the month, and it's been kind of a doozy, hasn't it? Let's take a look back and see what really happened. Well, it was one of the toughest months in market history. At the same time, it being a very, very, very good month for our clients and for JCN. Well, how would I know that? Well, a couple things I gauge by. I got into this business years ago with the intention of helping my clients have a better life. Never really was about your money. Have a better life. In the course of the month, I've had a total of four people call me that were concerned. One person called with a question. And I've had over five people call me just to say, hey, John, thanks. So I'm very satisfied because in talking to other professionals in our business, their phones are ringing off the hook with some very scared clients. Well, I'm so very happy you're not, you're not scared. Also, I will tell you something I've always believed in. I always thought if I do a very, very good job, business will take care of me. I'm proud to tell you this month, this March, the worst month in market history was the single biggest month in business for JCN. We got more clients, we had more dollars come in than any other time in 18 years, and we did this while the office was barely staffed and at times not staffed. Part of the reason I think we've done so well is we're thinking about what we're doing and we're not necessarily doing what everybody else is doing. Also, I'm educating you, and man, oh man, I need your patience today because I'm going to really show you something very, very, very critically important for you to understand. It's critically important because the better you understand it, the better you're going to feel. So let's pause now and take a look. Bear markets and recessions just don't happen that often, and I will tell you a tremendous amount can be learned from these. I've learned a tremendous amount. But if you don't learn it, you're going to pay a huge, huge price. And some things that work so well in the bull market just don't work in the bear market. Buy and hold won't work in the bear market. In the market with a correction, you can do pretty well there. But right now, you don't want to buy and hold. Nor do you want to chase the market because you're chasing the market on the way down. Look at this graph from 2000. The market dropped 11% and then popped right back up to 12%. And right here, there are people saying, hey, you should get in. You should get in because the market's down and it's going back up. There's a rally. Well, what happens? It drops again precipitously down, 27% down, and you will hear a lone voice out there, buy, it's cheap, it's cheap. No, it's lower, it's not cheap. Well, it goes back up to 19%. So as you see, you have these huge, big, much bigger ups and downs during these bear markets. And all the while, if you focus on trying to get in at this low price, you'll find out really the low price came months or years later. This shouldn't just indicate of 2002. I'll take you to the uh, 2008 marketplace and we'll see how that worked out. All right, here's 2008. Take a look at it. We had the, they call these dead, uh, dead count bounces. Look at them, there were six of them along this way where it gave hope to investors, hey, it's gone down, now it's coming back up. If I don't get in while it's up, I'm going to lose. Well, during this time frame, September to January, the market had about a 28% loss. So looking back, it was foolish to be in the market during that time frame. So the question becomes, what do you do in these markets? What does JCN Finance do in these markets? And I'll give you some indication why I have the confidence that I have. We do something different. We don't buy stocks. We take you over here to another, another graph. This is, um, let's see, the same time period you looked at. Now this is kind of busy, so concentrate here. This blue line right here is the stock market. And you see that it's going down, down, down. It went down 29% from uh, September 2nd through December 31st. The holdings you see up here, we're currently invested in a basket of treasury notes. We have different ones. Some are longer, some are shorter. We have some gold, a very small amount of gold, and we have the U.S. dollar. Take a look at these, though. Um, the lowest, poorest performer during this recession of this six-month period of time didn't lose 29%. It made 1.27, 4.09, 8%, 11%. And you own all of these. TLT made 23%. Let's take a look at this down through March. Uh, January of excuse me, September of 08 until March of 09 when he hit its bottom, the market lost from that time period 47%. So along this time frame I'm showing you here, I believe it's foolish to try to buy low and sell high because you're not low yet. 
and there's an increased amount of volatility. And quite frankly, stocks are very, very difficult, maybe even impossible to win here. But look what we did, y'all. This is what you currently own, a series of government treasuries that people go to, countries go to, companies go to for security, and they had a nice gain during this time frame. So what it means is we go through this bear market, we pick up nickels, dimes, and quarters with very secure investments that aren't stocks, aren't bonds. So when we do get to the point to recovery, then we can shift the stocks and make a good bit of money, a good bit of money more, because we're making a return on a higher net balance. So what I'm saying is I'm not blindly confident. I'm using my noggin here. And I'm hoping that you're willing to take enough time to study that. What I'm sharing with you, do you understand how this thing works? Bear markets are not like regular markets. If you do the same thing in a bear market as a bull market, you're gonna get your fingers burned. Um, I had a client, um, this gentleman, you know who you are, Simon. <laughs> You've been a client of mine for a long time. And I thought this was uh, an email that got that to me was very sweet. and. Uh, I really love the feedback I get from y'all because uh, this is more important to me than your money. I really want to be able to try to help you. I don't just help you with your money, man. I've got to teach you how this works. Here's what Simon told me. Hey, I bet you guys are under quite a bit of stress over the market situation. No, Simon, I'm not. I look at it as my opportunity to help you. Um, just want to, you to know that I'm content with letting you do your jobs and I'm not worried about my money. Thanks, Simon. Well, I sure hope all of you feel that way, and if you don't, please give me a call. Well, give me a little more of your time. I'm gonna take you back to a chart to look for every single day, because what you should be asking yourself is, hmm, John, that all looks good back in 08 and back in uh, 2001 and two, but how is this working today? Now, back to the 12th or the 11th of this month, I decided to get us out of the market and go to cash, which means to securities, uh, government treasuries and the and the cash we have. But when on the 12th, I sent the order in, it didn't clear till the end of the 12th, 8% loss that day. So let me show you how well we've done in two weeks time. And what do you think it pretends for the future? I'll tell you this, I believe April is gonna be a really, really tough month. And the reason I think that is, uh, the unemployment numbers, numbers are gonna just balloon, the company's p and is gonna be hurt, and me and you will be helped from this. So look at one more chart with me and then I'll, I'll say thank you for your time. Here we go. Okay, this is a screen I look at all day long and half the night. <laughs> I, find it, uh, I find it really quite enjoyable. It kind of helps me understand how we're doing versus the market. And if you look at the screen today, the market was down 1.51 today. These are the government treasuries that we own today and they were down as well 0.11. Remember, you only have half your money in treasuries, the other half's in cash. So down you were down, today you were down one twentieth of 1% in your portfolio. But take a look over here since the 12th of March, whereas the market made 1.3, we've made a good bit more on these treasuries and we're just getting started. Well, that gives you a little bit of insight into how we're doing this. Man, my hope is that really made a difference to your level of understanding. And by all means, please, 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 if you don't understand this, give me a phone call. It's just that important to me. I think things in the market are gonna get considerably worse, and I think we're gonna do considerably better. And I want you to enjoy this ride the whole way that we go. If you have a friend or family member that's not doing something like this, you might wanna encourage them to, because I think to buy and hold right now is just gonna be a painful situation, and by no means should you be investing in stocks today. Thank you very much. Let me hear your comments. Out.